Uh, what would be the best? Oh, imagine the wings ones. Oh, they'd be all red and shit. Oh, they'd look so good. Damn. Damn. Those Steam accounts would be worth a lot of money. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you can't sell. You just sell the Steam account. <laughs> So, what do we have here? A uh, Phoenix Doom going to be the off lane against this mid one Meepo with a support no tail in the safe lane. Not the mid Meepo that uh, many of us are probably accustomed to seeing. That means, of course, mid lane, it is going to be Weeha on the Pugna versus the Topson Invoker. Weeha off to a pretty good start. Topson can nail these as they push into the tower. The old Quaswek, if there's a Quaswek Invoker, I'm just kind of here. I'm hoping to draw things out in the lane, guys. It's okay. I've got plenty of regen. I'll be fine. Yep. Nice tornado. High skill gamer. And then, of course, down bottom, we've uh, got the Soxa Lion with the Seb Darkseer going up against the Miracle Void and RMN Disruptor. So, 2-1-2, two, two, no lane shenanigans. RMN going to take a stun. Here it is, the Q. This one hits, but again, Topson, he's fine. He's got the stick charges. This will probably cost him a couple last hits, so I don't know if he can position that well into the I mean, tower I'm right now. I'm surprised at how even it is still. I mean, Topson's within one or two CS of the Pugna. And he's still got one. most of those. He missed one under the tower like that while being pressured. Oh, feeds the cookie to mid one, jumps under tower. This is scary, but he gets it. Hoof away, mid one, finds a kill on MC. Meanwhile, Weehaw went down bottom to contest the bounty runes. Yeah, bottom lane, Soxa on the run. He's going to get blasted, and he's down. We've got our picture-in-picture picture is now up top. More action coming the way of GH. Mid one reinitiates, finds the net, needs a little more damage. No Icarus dive for another five seconds. No tail with the cookie. Yeah, finds Gives coverage to the top. Juke path. The right click anyway. Uh, now, Soxa did that. Yeah, well, speaking of pressured hard, four heroes in his lane now. Miracle with a good read on the situation, hiding in the trees, so he'll be safe for now. Dyer's this this is really important because they can't just leave him down here alone because he can handle just Seb, right? So they have to bring all these heroes down to try and pressure Miracle. Yep, Doom comes out though, on to Seb. Nice hex. Miracle, oh, trouble, he's done. Seb, probably not going to live here, but they can at least go for the deny. Soxa, he gets I low, think he's but alive. makes it out. Nope. Topson gives him the right click. A one for one, but with the deny, much favoring OG. Now no tail. He's going to be in some trouble. The decrep buffs up that extra damage from Thunderstrike. They will trade a one for two, but killing that void is so valuable. Yep, nice tonight. I mean, honestly, it's better to deny than to live at one HP anyway, so. Yeah. Static Storm trying to find the Invoker here. Kinetic Shield up a little bit too high. Topson alive for now, but in some trouble. Has to juke to the other side. Does get dusted. Now Miracle's here. Ionette and Mortimer, he's kissing her. Does get off the egg, but can mid one kill it? It's going to be close. He does get it, but sets up for Weeha to find the counter kill. Weeha goes in deep, though. Now he gets brought down. RMN, Static Storm, Kinetic Field won't be enough. Seb vacuums it back in. Glimpse, that'll be enough to keep him alive. Now the stun on the Miracle. They need a little bit more, though. The Finger of Death isn't enough. Time walk up to the high ground. He lives as well. Oh, the Save Your Buddy Syndrome there is uh, Weehaw tried to get that egg off. That would have been huge if he did by utilizing the uh, the decrep, but couldn't get him. Yep. It was a good try. Back. Thompson fought back for the last fight. Mid one now jumps in, gets a nice net. They snipe down Weehaw. And they'll find one more, it looks like, in the Phoenix. Plenty of CC there. Hunting for more. Enigma will get out of dodge after losing three. GH with the uh, the cheeky Phoenix item of the the, uh, the meteor hammer, so you can be diving and you can channel it. It knows no distance. The old uh, hooking the black hole. You know? Yep, exactly. Chrono set up down bottom onto the Meepo. A little bit of follow up from OG, but they might not be able to save mid one. It's going to be close. He actually sustains through it. Almost turns onto the void, but it's not enough. They also get no tail too dead for OG. Another good fight for Nigma as this game continues to go back and forth. Looks like Soxa will also burn down. That will make it the three for nil as Seb appears to be getting away. Yeah, he'll be all right. Soxa has a Blink queued up. Uh, did go for the Aether Lens first, but uh, Blink Aether on Lion is going to be very scary for uh, Enigma. It took a really long time to smoke there. Mike Still might find something, caught. though. Oh! Breaks the smoke, blinks back just in time. 
Okay, so the jig is up. They know that OG are hunting. Smoke oh, now on the bottom lane. They're trying to defensively lane. smoke back to the base. Wow, they break it immediately and they catch Miracle. That's his whole mana bar. Thompson stuck inside the Static Storm kinetic field. He might still go down and he's going to be a one for one, but they've caught Weeha as well. Mid one, running amok in the back line. That's a buyback. Aegis still in the hands of this Meepo, but he might just push it to the limit here and he will. Egg comes down. Aegis comes back up. Missed time slightly for the Phoenix stun. Big damage on the Meepo, and mid one is down. OG now looking to retreat. They've lost two. They don't have this numbers advantage. And seven, the front line getting locked down. Good cookie. Vacuum connects on three. TP out from Soxa and the glimpse back onto Seb. They're going to lock him in place. There's that disruptor counter to the Darkseer. Kill. Deals the bounty. They drop the finger. They need one more. They need it. They've got him. The damage talent. It came into play. Now get out. Cost some Thompson though, and it's probably going to cost Soxa as well. Down he goes. A two for one. Sure, they got the bounty, Rippo. It's uh, always a potential win condition there. It's a double hex uh, initiation. Oh, they have a ward. They see mid one's Meepos. And they have Chrono. They yeah, drop it. They only needed to catch one. It was close, but Miracle still finds it. And... Oh, he canceled the Meteor Hammer. What happens? Oh, okay, okay. They still burn. That was weird. Yeah, it was weird. Meanwhile, in the mid, mind control is going to be okay. Front lining. <laughs> No tail, makes it up to the high ground with a TP. He'll be good. Not even close. Uh, unfortunately for OG, though, Soxus now very far from the blink dagger with that last buyback. Uh, nice flip. Uh oh. But uh, they find some vengeance. A doom in the static storm kinetic field. He gets pooped over the side but still might die to the doom. Setting up here, Soxa and Thompson in a very unexpected position. Is this going to work, though? Meteor Hammer, EMP Tornado from the high ground. They'll jump in onto the Phoenix. A very spread out engagement, but Thompson actually getting collapsed on, and he'll be the one that goes down first. Now the Chrono comes out. It looks like a pretty good setup. A lot of damage being dumped into it, and the Meepo is getting destroyed. Meepo down. Two buybacks now from OG. They'll try to get back into this fight, but they've lost Soxa. They've lost No Tail. Soxa will be stuck on the sideline as they clip back Seb, and it is a disaster for OG. They tried something big there, and it backfires completely. They have to burn four buybacks to repel the Roche. Radiant's the cost, astronomical. Now yep. a 13k net worth favor for Nigma. There were parts that looked good, like that big vacuum where he caught everyone inside the chrono, but the BKBs were still rolling. So No Tail was trying to pump Radiant's some damage in there with the Mortis Mor 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 Kisses, but it just wasn't there. Well, here's the Yolo play from OG. They run into the pit. They bought back for this. They do get the kill on the Doom. There's no Chrono. This is the moment. Buy back on Doom. They need more here. The Kinetic Field locking Nebo in place, and he's actually going to die. Weeha's got the single target damage. They're going to find another as well. Thompson getting locked down, bashed up inside of the Kinetic Field. Two diebacks now on OG. Nigma continuing to press. Seb on the run. Does get out of dodge. Looking to TP. Whoa, that was close. OG in big trouble though, 70 seconds, two big cores stuck on the sideline, and Nigma getting closer to the base. Miracle jumps forward, does drop that time dilation, limps back, and they'll find Soxa. Not a dive. Intense early game, oh, very back, back and forth, but now Nigma looking for the closer. I mean, they have Chrono up too. This could be juicy. Oh, if only they left a ward right here, too. There's no sentries. Oh, oh they're smoking. Oh, oh here she blows. Smoked. They're going to go in. Top oh, it's a good charge. one. Chrono connects on two. He still finds the Meepo. Sunray, Egg, they'll burn him down. Meepo dead. No buyback. BKBs get popped. The Egg comes off, and now Soxa falls. They'll have the buyback now. It's cooled down, but they also catch No Tail. Two dead, no buybacks, and Seb going to be left behind. That's got to be close to a GG moment, and it is. No Tail calls it. 34 minutes, Nigma take game one. Oh, no, Soxa, he got it. Six charges. Oh. All right, a right, little morale booster there for Soxa at the end. Nigma, though, the Nigma, so maybe looking for a first blood, or are we going to see a dedicated tri lane? Probably just a first blood, but uh, depends on what Soxa does. That's the Doom down bottom.
Well, they scout it out. No tail knocks down that tree and sees RMN right away. I still get some licks in. I don't know. Vinko might be happy to try to force the tri lane if they can get the TP up here, because 1v1, Slardar should beat the Brewmaster. Like Slardar oh. traditionally very good in these melee matchups. Soxa didn't do the uh, early devour. Right? He didn't do like the, the one down here at the bottom, so he waited for the spawn. So they, they don't need the clockwork because the Doom's not doing anything yet. It's still just a 1v1 bottom. Okay, Doom is going to TP up. Oh, we are in tri lane scenario now. Oh, wow. Mid one with a really greedy time walk there. Not really punished too hard, though. Yep, he'll be okay. And checking in on mid, the Topson Arc Warden against the Weeha. Mid one, time walk in one. I think he's still in big trouble, though. Does have stick charges in two. They got him. Oh. Oh. The stick is enough, but Miracle wants this kill. He jumps in and does commit for it. It might cost him everything. Does have fairy fire. RMN with beautiful cogs. Knocks Radiant back no tail to fairy fire. Oh, oh my off. god. He's coming back. <laughs> this is ridiculous, but Miracle's back in. No tail again. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! Nine HP! Miracle survives! And somehow the bounty runes are still there. I thought Soxa was gonna go get them during all of that. Well, that could not have gone better for Nigma, I don't think. Uh, PA now has a pretty nice advantage over the boy. So. Oh, he's free. He will get GA'd. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Not a passive. Not a passive. Always gets you. No tail on the run. RMN closes the gap. That centaur not going to be enough help for the Ench to live through this one, I don't think. And meanwhile, in the mid, Topson, he gets ganked. Does still have the Tempest double. Soxa trying to run. GH might get brought down in exchange. Nope, he'll survive, and Soxa also falls. That's three dead on OG around the map. Enigma getting a big lead, and you know, not only did the Slardar win the lane and has a charges, Viper Strike, Soxa could be in trouble. They're about to lose this Bruce Split also. Weeha still alive. They don't get the Thunderclap. All the stolen Bruce Split. Does commit to finish off the kill. GH split up. Can they get this kill onto Seb now? They've got the stun and they've got a few more. And they can chase down No-Tail with the next Cyclone. A messy, chaotic fight, but it does look like that Bruce deal is going to tip. In terms of helping your farm, though, like relative to yeah. a Midas or Maelstrom. Yeah, I, th I mean, think about think about the right there when he time walks into that camp, right? That's every six seconds you can do that. Okay. That's a guaranteed AOE time, wall, uh, time lock. Yeah, you're, you're making a good point. It does sort of double as a farming tool. Be interesting to see uh, how much that impacts his, his bottom line. Mid lane, invisible GH sets up on the tops and he'll try to TP oh, out. No. Chrono missed. Topson still oh, no. dies in the well to the poison. Stolen Chrono from the Rubik sets it up on three. Oh, gee. This is an abysmal team fight. The Doom comes down on mind control, but the damage has been done. They kill the Doom, and this is going to end a one for two exchange. He's trying to life steal. <laughs> but that's the Aegis, folks. It's a one, it's a two for Aegis. RMN, he is going to go down, but GH so deep in the back line. They're trying to keep him around. Seb going to come back into Panda form. They were ready with the telekinesis, and he's got nothing left. Oh, gee, take heavy losses here. They do get the kill on the clockwork, but I think our old man, RMN is A-OK -okay with that trade. Yeah, oh, geez, I believe. Yeah. Mid one is just trying to finish his Gordon, but there's just been no intimidation factor out of Thompson here. Well, this is their fight. Now in onto Mind Control. It's a good Bruce split. Slithering Crush doesn't yield much, and Mind Control will get brought down. But makes the space for his team to retreat. And I think the rest of Enigma will get out. Viper, though, caught by a Cyclone. Maybe enough follow-up. There is a Chrono. Hook shot off to the side. They drop Soxa. Midwall jumps in, looking for the counterplay. Buyback on the Doom. Miracle still alive for now. Void jumping oh, in the chrono. chrono. He does catch it. Can they kill Miracle, though? The stolen Chrono again stops the back line. Miracle lives. Mid one can't finish him off. Gets another bash. Miracle looking for crits. The carries both go down, but the rest of OG in big trouble. Now Thompson falls. GA in the back line trying to finish off the Tempest double. He'll get it, but he will get doomed in exchange. This is the buyback from Soxa now. Should be able to guarantee this kill on the Rubik. Weeha doing everything he can to try to slow it down. Looking for the dieback onto Soxa, trying to stack up the poison. 
Can he find both kills? Docks it down. Got another poison. And yeah. there's no TP on No Tail. Untouchable might help a little, but Mind Control's here. Catches the stun. Gets a miss uphill. Not going to make a difference, though. That's going to be a full wipe. That uh, it, mid one. Initiated on. Time walked away. No more health. He's done. No buyback on this void. Now Seb does have a split, but stuck inside a cog. It's going to be hard to get this cast point off. He's done as well. No buyback on either hero in the grave. It's an honor. Yeah, I mean, all they can do really is wait for everything to be up again and try once more, right? It's a bit of a tough spot to be in. GH finds a catch. Long range initiation onto No Tail. Seals the nature's attendance and sets up another alley oop for Miracle. Not even a team fight here. Oh, gee. Now we'll see if they just win, right? That's the, that's the OG. Now yeah. they win. <laughs> Tempest to double down. So how long on Chrono? Ooh. 110 seconds left on that uh, cooldown. You know, we had a game like this get fed away with a Rapier. Unfortunately, Miracle's not uh, willing to, to do that yes. for us. We did. That was uh, yesterday. Shout out to the Zoomers winning that game. Top tower has fallen. Oh, yeah, that was an NA. Oh, God, you're right. Dyer's top tower. Instead of a gift, the classic. Miracle walking into the bubble. The only way to do it. Aegis is in the hands of Miracle now. They give it to the PA this time, not the Slardar. They jump in and delete No Tail. Does have the buyback. Will use it. Miracle with the Satanic actually survives through some of that burst damage. They jump in onto the Tempest double mid one. Still no Chrono. Miracle somehow still alive. That's finally the Aegis. Iron Man. There goes Iron Man. Part one. That's the first one. And now That's the only two. kill. On to Miracle. He's going to try to run. Can they finish off this PA? They want to pursue for it. Seb jumping out deep. OG are going to commit. Viper killing uh, Tom's oh, on the back be right. He's no. going to go down. The Blink back. The Doom. Miracle survives. Now mid one. Netted up. In some trouble. Time walk available. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Soxa. Poison. Weeha. He's getting down low, but they are sustaining. Seb yes. Ball, the fire yes. sword. No. Not enough. Weeha with the Dyer's cheese. They're going to turn. Top now top mid top. one. He's going to get Oh, I'm the best. <laughs> oh. <laughs> a couple of close calls. But you're right, one plus agent. One Thank kill, just the clockwork, and GG. I thought they were going to get one of those cores so bad. They were so close. Well fought by OG, but this should be the GG push. Still a tier two standing in the bottom lane. They're not going to tap out quite yet with the Arc Ward coming up. But Nigma have made the call, and I think they're going to wrap this one up. Buyback on the Doom. Brew up in five. Will this repel Nigma? Not at all. They jump in to kill the Tempest double, and that's a dieback on the Doom. Soxa put to rest. That bubble, pretty darn annoying, but uh, the Brewmaster, also dead. Blink of an eye. Magnetic field, not going to be enough to stop this push. Chrono comes out, and Void just dies. He didn't cross.